Hey guys, Tony Maritato here. In this video, I wanted to share one strategy you could start using today to start earning a little extra money while we're on the 2020 COVID-19 lockdown. Let's take a look. So guys, if you've been a clinician for any length of time over a couple years, you've probably identified problems with documentation, you've probably gotten into situations where you're looking at a medical record, maybe somebody else's chart, maybe your own chart. I know when I review my own medical record, I always see deficiencies that I could improve on. This is the perfect time to offer your services as a medical record reviewer because you could save money for the practice when they open back up. You could identify deficiencies before payers find them and you could save that practice owner a boatload of lost money, revenue, headache if you help them develop their own internal audit system. So let's jump into a couple ideas re around this and how you can start offering your services to other providers. I'm gonna read from a website here for just a second. I wanna share some ideas that they have here that I think apply to you and would allow you to help other clinic owners. So first, look at determining outliers before a larger payer does, right? One of the, the pitfalls of Medicare is, Medicare doesn't look at our medical records until there's a problem. So if you're doing something wrong or, or the practice owner isn't necessarily um, intentionally doing something wrong, but if they're leaving out pertinent information, Medicare isn't reviewing it until there's a reason, and then when they review the medical record, all of a sudden all of these deficiencies come to surface. If that practice owner was to hire you now as an independent reviewer, give you a chance to look through a, a sampling of their medical records, I could almost guarantee you're gonna find deficiencies that can be improved, which in the long, long run is gonna save them a boatload of money. You would protect against fraudulent claims. I guarantee none of us are intentionally doing anything to defraud the government or any other payer. But just because we're not doing it on purpose doesn't mean it's not happening. And having an extra set of eyes look over the medical record from a non-biased perspective goes a very long way in identifying possible fraudulent claim submissions. We could help clinic owners identify problem areas and develop solutions on how to improve it. Let's take, for example, a practice that maybe isn't using a functional outcome measure. And we know based on Medicare guidelines that we are expected to use functional outcome measures. So maybe we can make some suggestions on a list of functional outcome measures, some free, some paid. There's photo, there's optimal, there's the back index, the neck index. And we can show that practice owner how to implement utilization of the functional outcome measure without bogging down their clinicians and adding more work to what's already kind of a, a work heavy initial evaluation. You know, probably one of the best things we can do is help providers make sure that they're not under billing or down coding. I can't tell you how many times I'll look in a medical record and I'll see ample minutes of treatment time, but the actual claim submission doesn't reflect what was done with the patient. And usually it's done out of fear. Usually the therapist doesn't want to overbill and so they down bill or down code. But the problem with that is now we're not getting the reimbursement that we deserve for the services we're providing. So as an independent reviewer, you have the opportunity to do the math, look at the minutes, look at the services provided, put two and two together and make sure it equals four. Then finally, you know, you have the opportunity to look at what was actually done as a clinician. You can read the notes, you can understand what they're doing, what they're trying to achieve, and then you can look at the claims submitted and see if those two are reflective of each other. You know, so many times when I look at something that might be billed as therapeutic exercise when in reality it's therapeutic activity and therapeutic activity is reimbursed at almost 22 percent higher reimbursement than therapeutic exercise you know just imagine that for a second Let, let's take a typical single owner operator who's doing 
30 visits a week and they're doing 50 weeks a year. So they're doing 1500 patient visits. Now imagine that they're losing, they're costing themselves $10 per patient visit. That's $15,000 a year for services they're already providing that they're missing out on. You can provide huge value as an independent reviewer, taking advantage of your history in the clinic, taking advantage of the resources that are already available, and just letting practice owners know, hey, this is something that you do. In fact, I bet if you started today, you'd get your first handful of clients, and this might be something that turns into a supplemental income the rest of the year, even when the clinics pick back up. So guys, let me know what you think about this idea. If you want me to share more simple ideas that allow you to tap into your history as a clinician to earn a little bit of extra money right now during the COVID-19 lockdown, let me know. Post your answers in the comments below and do me a favor, just hit the subscribe button. We're getting closer to that thousand subscriber mark every single day. And so the more we get subscribed to the channel, the more content I can produce for you guys. Guys, as always, thanks so much. I'll catch you on the next video.